some stuff from Target. I went to go buy my granddaughter some razors and shaving cream. Guys, I look a mess. It's one of those days at work where you just don't feel like going. So you get up in the morning and throw on anything. So the mask always pulls my hair out. So sticks out on the side. Never mind, it's already broken off. But anyway, I got this. And I got us some razors. Each of these things were 99 cents. I got this green bowl. It's so pretty. It's like avocado green and I felt like I'm going to sit avocados in it. And it was 79 cents. iPhone cable cord. It um, died out on me. The one I got from TJ Maxx a while ago. And so this was like 30 something dollars and the guy gave it to me for $19.99. He I drove through Burger King, got a six piece chicken nugget. I ate pita bread. Drank a Red Bull. Jave film, 99 cents. Five twin blade razors, 99 cents. And then here's a better look at my um, iPhone charging cable. And then a better look at this green bowl. I think this bowl is gorgeous. So I figure this is like my produce rack. Even though I got a lot of other things hanging around on it. So I was going to use put the bowl. I was going to put the bowl over here on this rack. There's apples in there. Avocados in here. And... Potatoes are in here, but usually cuties are in here. And those potatoes are gone bad. So put the apples in there because apples usually are a little chunkier. My produce shelf here. Um, yeah, I got to move that candle. Those are VH uses that I kind of just like the, them going there because it kind of makes you feel like whenever you look over here, you're going to be looking at healthy choices. <laughs> That's how I look at it. So whatever else is on here. I got two masks from Target and I think they're kids masks because it feels really tight on my face. I hang my keys right here. There's an extra mask for when I leave the building. My watch hangs up here because it's the watch I wear every single day. And then I just have a, what do you call this thing to light candles. This is just a glass vase where a plant is brewing. This is my blessed oil and this is a pitcher. I really like it just waiting for it to jump out and tell me where it want to be in this apartment. So that's what this little situation is. The jar here with the almonds in it. And then I have this little bowl right here. I guess you could call this the garlic bowl. I usually have my pills for the day sit in here, which I gotta refill it, but yeah. I'm just getting my pills ready. I usually have these little pill sorters and I got this one from the container store this one from I, I'm not sure either Walmart or somewhere like that but anyways I like to go ahead and get them sorted and what I think I'm gonna do is use this for the day pills both of these and then sort the night ones in here because I do take an antacid pill in, in the night and so I have all of the vitamins from the store here. This is multivitamins also from the store. And I've already sorted there, so I'm just going to sort them in here now. And I'm just not a person that is good at um, remembering if I took a pill what day. And I have two prescriptions that I need to make sure I take, so I might as well make sure... I take everything else I need. So I'm going to be sorting the biotin. And the reason why I like these big ones because um, you can put a ton of multi, um, multivitamins, I mean vitamins or mineral um, pills in it. I don't know what I'm trying to say. 
and a big old multivitamin because it's usually really pretty pretty big and if your doctor prescribed you something that's kind of large it'll fit in there so i kind of just leave the uh, well i have them on this half then i change them to this half just so i remember which ones i already sorted because the couple of pills look exactly the same like the vitamin e which is this one and another one they kind of favor so it's best if i go ahead and just do it this way sometimes i feel like it's playing a game i really hate doing this but once i'm doing it i'm okay but i i hate to do it i literally put this on my list of things to do just so I can get the satisfaction of checking off that I did it because I hate to do this. But I know I have to just to stay organized with just the way I do things. And, you know, getting up in age sometimes you have a, t this is um, potassium. All of these came from Walmart too, if you're wondering. And they were all like $3, 5 Nothing was very expensive. So I recommend getting them there. I don't know about other places except if uh, Walgreen or CVS or Rite Aid is given a discount when you buy one or two or something like this. This is magnesium. Now I'm getting a feeling that either my doctor told me to take some of these or I opted to take some for the corona prevention situation type of thing. Um, yeah. So um, I normally have these for the home, but if I were to travel, I go ahead and use a compact one because, um, you know, I try to pack small when I'm packing. There is vitamin D3. And I, this looks like the vitamin E, I guess you could say. But smaller. So this is not the one that I'm going to be getting confused by. But I just know that two of them kind of are similar. And I think it's maybe these oval shaped white pills. Yeah. And since this is the last one, which is zinc. Yeah, two, two of these look alike. Cause you see clearly right here, this one is already oval. And so is this one and oval and also white. So very easily to get the two confused. Ugh. I hate that I'm dropping them, especially on the ones that look alive. All right, so if I accidentally spill these, I'm going to be so upset. Now, I only have two prescriptions in that. These are them right here. See, that's what I do. So I'm going to add my prescriptions to it and call it a day. And then I go ahead and sit one back in the pill box and then leave one out. And it's all good. I found a couple of coupons that I'm gonna try to use in the near future. And this is this came from my Target Beauty Box and it's three dollars off of fifteen. And and it has to be beauty purchases. And then I have this that came with my Keurig, and it's $3 off of um, Ready to Shop box of coffee. And I'm going to be buying some, um, I think I'm going to buy some green tea and then use this coupon. All right, so this is what it looks like. And as I've told you before, I just put the pills right here. So in the morning, not good light. I got to throw these potatoes away. I don't want to throw them in the trash because they'll smell. So I'm going to put them in the bag in the morning when I um, take out the trash. When I leave for work. Ooh, that's too bright. So <laughs> I just sit them right here. This is my Poshmark store. or I'm on Poshmark right now. But those are just... No notices t to me for whatever reason and um, this is my closet 
this is what it looks like and these are the things that are in my closet so I had some coat shoes they sold some Louis Vuitton the Barbie purse the houndstooth skirt this is the latest two things that sold were these pumps and these Dr. Scholl's so I have some Taylor Swift t-shirts there's three of them in there for sale and some heels that are red some Louis Vuitton bags, these shoes right here, a uh, Louis Vuitton wallet, and a Beyonce um, Destiny Child Barbie doll, some other pumps, Invicta watch, a dress, coach crossbody, um, a clear purse, and then this bright yellow one, and then a Louis Vuitton box. You know, some people are interested in that. They buy them all the time off of eBay, so I say, why not put them on here? I don't really want them. So if you're interested in this Louis Vuitton watch, we'll just go ahead and show you different parts of it. So I have everything with it, including the receipt. This is it unfolded. This is the receipt and all of it in the receipt, the box. And then what it looks like inside. And then I can just go ahead and let you see the Beyonce doll just for fun. She's still in the box. The box is tattered just from being moved. She comes with a charm bracelet and a poster. And it's Beyonce as in Destiny's Child. Um, yeah. And then we have a, let's see, the Invicta watch. It's like um, snakeskin kind of like. And there's a closer up on it. We got a glare going on, but you get the picture. So if you're interested in any of these things, please visit my uh, channel, my um, store. It's always linked in my YouTube videos. And if it's not in one that you're looking at, it definitely is in some other ones. So you can go ahead and take a look at it. I've been curious how I posted the Taylor Swift t-shirts. Okay, they're in plastic bags, so they've never been used, never been opened. But basically... It's her signature on the back and then her face in the front. Yeah, and they're all size medium, just in case you're interested. So I check my page in the evening too, um, every so many days. If I get a sale, I'll definitely get a uh, text for that, so I don't have to worry about that. So that's that, I just thought I'd show you my store. I'm gonna be using these Pacifica makeup wipes to take off my makeup today. And then I'm going to wash my face and then use this a cure. It's a cure uh, resurfacing overnight glycolic treatment. And it came in my beauty pack, um, Target beauty box. So I'm hoping that it's like, wow, that was easy to open. It's like a lotion, I guess, and I'm gonna stretch this for a couple of uses. I would have put it in the refrigerator if I was just now using it, but since it's been out without being in the fridge and it was, you know, not um, sealed real tight, so. Let's see, so I have a question for you since we're in the bathroom. I seen something on social media where they were saying as a quiz type of joke, if you put your toilet paper on a roll with this part facing this way or this way. And if you're this way, you're domineering. And if you're this way, you're submissive or vice versa. I'm curious which way you all put yours on. I don't think I consciously even am aware of how I put the toilet paper on. Right now, this is just one roll sitting up here, but obviously I have it going over this way. So maybe this way means submissive and the other way means domineering. Even though I'm submissive when necessary and domineering when it's necessary. So that's, that's how that goes. So um, this is supposed to be um, glycolic acid also, makeup towelette. And it's called glowing and it smells like it says orange vanilla but for some reason it smells like some sort of powdery candy 
like a Valentine's heart, the Valentine heart candy. So I'm just taking off whatever makeup I had on. And can you believe I had the nerve today to put foundation on? Why? I don't know, because it's a mess wearing a mask. I just thought I'd try it just to see. But in the morning, I probably would do a no foundation makeup routine and film it because that's all I'm doing these days. I mean, uh, quite a bit of the days I definitely was wearing no makeup and kind of was happy about it only because it's like, it's, I mean, going from wearing makeup every day to work to not wearing it, you can look like two different people. Give everybody a chance to get used to me without it because I don't think I've ever went to work without foundation on. So I've taken off as much makeup as I could. This was pretty uh, moist and wet, so that's that's good. Like I said, I'm not a fan of Pacifica, but I guess these are okay. So that's basically all I'm gonna do at this moment, and then I'm gonna eat some gelato and watch a movie, and then read my Bible and go to sleep. Like, yeah, read and meditate, I guess you can say, not really read and go to sleep. I'm just studying the book of um, 1 John, and it's so refreshing to understand that book and my relationship with the Lord. I really am enjoying it, and it's putting things in perspective, answering questions I was wondering about concerning myself and my relationship with the Lord, and I'm definitely getting clarity. So check out the book, you guys, and let me know what you think. I'm just kind of massaging the little packet so that it can mix up in there and then I'm going to take it says just take a little drop like that pat in my face I put Vaseline on my lips and around my mouth because it's kind of chafing from wearing the mask and I'm just pressing it down my neck my decollete, my ears, and the back of my neck. I'm just brushing my hair using my Avon brush that I had since I was a, a, a teen, a preteen. Yeah, I was a preteen. So I've been having this Avon brush. It's not dirty, but it's just because um, that black hair gel that I use, it's a... Uh, gets in the brush too because I wash my brushes and combs whenever I wash my hair and I've already washed my hair the other day so now I'm gonna head to the kitchen and get my ice cream and turn on my movie you're at Target this is my last one out of three that I got a week or so ago. Audrey Hepburn movie. There was a chauffeur by the name of Fairchild who had been imported from England years ago. And it's 9:51. Fairchild was a fine chauffeur of considerable polish, like the eight cars in his care. And he had a daughter by the name of Sabrina. It was the eve of the annual six meter yacht races. And as had been traditional on Long Island for the past 30 years, the Larrabees were giving a party. It never rained on the night of the Larrabee There party. is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear, because fear has torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. We love him because he loved us first. If a man say, I love God and hated his brother, he is a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he has seen, how can he love God whom he has not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God also loveth his brother. Well, we'll come to the end of this vlog. And I just want to say thank you if you stayed till the end and I will see you on my next video. I appreciate you.